But everything that the Republicans do, anytime they don't get their way, is a threat to democracy. It's a threat to democracy. One of the most recent ones, again, Roe v. Wade. How, how is that a threat to democracy? I mean, think it through. The overturning of Roe v. Wade and the Dobbs decision going back a couple weeks ago actually puts more power to the people, which is, in fact, democracy. Yet they're complaining about it. They're complaining about it because, in that case, the Democrat Party actually wants it to be federal. It wants to be a constitutional right to where everyone has access to it. But true democracy, like I said at the beginning, is, you know, power to the people, majority rule. So now that the states are in charge of it, wherever you are living, your vote carries more weight. Your vote is more powerful because it's not, because it's going to affect your state and not you sending a representative to the federal government to where those representatives are, you know, trying to pass a law or create a constitutional right along with 434 other representatives and 99 or 98 other senators. So there's actually more power to the people when the power is given to the states and not at the federal level. The new voting laws that we've seen put in place since the 2020 election in red states, Georgia, Florida, I believe Texas, many other states, many red states have passed new voting laws. And those have been called anything from racist, but they've also been called a threat to democracy. They're making it harder to vote. They're taking away mail. They're taking away mail drop boxes and mail-in ballots and all these things that were put in place for COVID. Well, tell me, Democrats, why why didn't you cry about this pre-pandemic? I mean, we've had numerous presidential elections before then, but once they got a taste of what they were able to do because of COVID and the voting, which some states it's been deemed unconstitutional to actually change federal election and voting policy like the Supreme Court in Wisconsin just ruled this past week. But these new voting laws, they consider a threat to democracy, a threat to democracy. The Electoral College is considered a threat to democracy because why? Why? Because it limits the power of the majority. And the Democrats, as much as they're trying to trick you to believe, they want, they want majority rule. Like I said, their electoral college has given Bush the victory. It's given Trump the victory. And they hate that. The popular vote is won by the Democrats, but then we've had Republican presidents recently. And that, that just makes them so angry because they want the popular to set the policy and to rule. They want to create a democracy instead of operating in the Republic that we have. And we're going to continue to hear these claims about basically anything or everything Republican party does or Republicans myself, you, anything you do that goes against something that the Democrat Party stands for, that is something that they do not like, it is more than likely going to be considered a threat to democracy. Hi, I'm Brian Kletter, the creator and host of the Counterthought Podcast. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to like it and then also check out these two videos and subscribe to the channel. For more daily content from me, you can find me on Instagram at Counterthought CEO and the official Counterthought Instagram page at counter underscore thought. Thank you for watching and spread the word.